guys, what's up? So I wanted to show you guys a new purchase. Uh, this just came out. I just saw this a couple days ago, and I bought it on Amazon. But <clears throat> it's actually the new uh, SKR 1.3 board. And uh, yeah, if you've been watching my other videos, you saw that I just bought an SKR 1.1 board. But uh, this new one seems like a huge, huge improvement over the, the 1.1 version. Um, yeah, but take a look at this thing. It's uh, It looks almost exactly the same, same footprint. Um, almost identical. Uh, a couple different changes I can see, like the integrated fuses here. And but for me, what really actually piqued my interest was the built-on uh, pins for, on the motherboard for the BL Touch. So I'll go to a couple different pages where you can see this thing. But uh, as you can see in this picture right here, you can see the BL Touch, and it's directly connected to a, a dedicated servo pin on the motherboard. Like the three pin connector on the BL Touch is connected directly to the motherboard, and the two pin Z stop is connected to the Z stop right there. So, pretty awesome. Only 22 bucks. Uh, I don't know when it's going to be here. I, it, I ordered it on the 9th, you can see right here. But uh, usually ships within one to three weeks. So, uh, I mean, I'll do a side by side comparison of, of the two boards, the 1.1 and the 1.3, but same footprint as the uh, MKS Gen L board. So, uh, except the SD card slot would be different. You have to cut a hole in your box. But uh, pretty cool. I mean, and they're actually, the, the documentation is way better with this one so far. So pretty excited to get this one. So hopefully it'll be a lot easier to configure when I'm when I'm ready to go. Even though I'm sure I could have got the BL Touch to work with the 1.1, um, it just seemed like it's pretty cool that they actually created a dedicated port for it. So let me show you some other pictures of this thing. Uh, this was actually in Chinese. I had to translate it. So, uh, but yeah, look at this board. So like I said, the documentation is already way better than I can, I can see. So I actually have some TMC 2208 drivers. And I know actually another cool feature uh, uh, is that you don't actually, if, as far as I can tell, it looks like you can uh, set up the, the, the stepper motor and have a, a communicate uh, via SPI or UART mode directly via the motherboard and not hopefully it's some external wires connected on the motherboard. So if you look at this picture, they even show you how to set it up. So the TMC 2208, I, I move some jumpers around. Hopefully I can communicate with it directly. I can communicate with the steppers directly without having the external wires fed from the top of the stepper down the motherboard. But uh, yeah, I'm pretty excited about this. 32-bit, obviously, Marlin 2.0 is what I'm going to have on it. Um, but yeah, pretty cool. I've actually, I, I, I actually stumbled upon this when I was looking at my, I was messing with the firmware in my 1.1 board. Then I saw that they had a new chain or, or new uh, branch for uh, 1.3. I'm like, what the hell is that? So I started looking around. It really hadn't been on. All right. So like I said, I was looking at the uh, the Marlin 2.0 release and uh, I saw the 1.3 and I, I went on to Amazon and I started looking around for it, but nobody was, was really selling it yet. So, um, yeah, so that's when actually I finally, I kept on looking day after day to see somebody that was selling it on Amazon. I finally come up on Amazon, but I think it's like a pre-sale. So I don't know if these things are even manufactured yet, because it said one to three weeks just to ship. So I don't know if that means one to three weeks to get to my house, or one to three weeks before it even ships. But uh, obviously dual extruder, E0, E1. Uh, looks like a, I actually have one of those, uh, the TFT32 which would connect here, but it looks like it would support your typical, like, uh, I forget the number on it, but the standard, like, uh, rep wrap LCD. But, uh, okay, so they're actually, are mentioning the SKR 1.1 in here, but uh, pretty excited. This is pretty cool. I mean, hopefully this will save me a lot of time in the configuration, having a dedicated servo pin. So, pretty cool. Um, all right, guys, so when it comes in, I'll do a side-by-side -side comparison, and we'll take a look at it, and we'll get it going with Marlin 2.0. All right, awesome. <laughs> Thank you.